Joining me now is uh, Kyle Hankins. Uh, as players, how frustrating was it to get yourselves in a commanding position and then drop it to 2-2 at the end? Yeah, extremely frustrating. Uh, the boys are gutted in there. Um, we all feel pretty down about it. Feels like two points lost, uh, for sure. I mean, it's like a tally to half today. It started really well on the front foot, kept, kept them pending, created, created good chances first half, and then uh, second half, it just turned around and was on the back foot. But we still managed to uh, create chances. We had the penalty that we missed. Um, but you know, we've got to take our chances on another day. We come away with the uh, three points, but no, uh, we're all really disappointed. So, um, but yeah, we've got to take the positives from it. And I guess that shows how things have turned around within the squad because you're now so disappointed about that when at the start of the season you were glad for every point that you could get. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I mean, the Gaffers brought, brought some good players in. Um, I think we've evolved as a team for sure. Um, and I feel like we just uh, we keep getting better, we keep gelling as a group, which is, which is important. Um, and, you know, we back ourselves each day now to come away with at least a win. You know, so uh, yeah, we just got to keep going. How encouraging is it though that you're creating so many opportunities? Absolutely. I mean, that's the main thing. If um, if we're not creating chances, then we got, we haven't got a chance to win the game. So um, we do. We keep pushing on to the very end. You seen it today, even in the second half when we was on the back foot, we still created chances. And like I said on another day, um, Toby PC say they put them away. So, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's uh, like I said, we got to take the positives. As a defender, have you had a chance to have a look at the two goals conceded today? No, I haven't yet. I haven't managed to have a look at them. Um, but I'm sure for the second goal, when it, when he's uh, hooked it on, he's handballed it on the line, which then flicks it on for him to, to score. That's what I've seen anyway, so um, it's probably hard for the, the ref to see it, but for the line, I could have helped him out. But I'll have to have a look back and uh, have a look, but no, I haven't, I haven't managed to see it. As I say, loads of opportunities, especially in the first half. Was the, was that the point you perhaps should have put the the game to bed? In the first half, mm. um, probably yeah. I mean, we should have got the third. Would have made them uh, a bit deflated. But then again, even in the second half, like I said, we we still created chances. We still got to put them away, which we didn't. So um, two poor goals, which which shouldn't have uh, been scored. A bit of lapse of con concentration. But like I said, we got to take the positives. Home support really good. Um, that must be. Encouraging to you as a squad of players that people are getting behind you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been in a really good run at home um, so far. I mean, uh, the crowd always turn out, don't they? We always hear them, and they're like the twelfth man here. Um, and you know, we we perform well at home. Um, so yeah, it's always encouraging to see them come through the gates. And uh, we've got another game Tuesday to uh, put things right. Came off against Torquay last week. Was that precautionary? What happened there? Yeah, just precautionary. Just had a, had a bit of bang up, bang on the head to the temple. So I thought it's better just to go off and uh, uh, be ready for this game today. And you say game's coming thick and fast. You, know, you could perhaps turn this around with a victory at Russia. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, you know, we're confident as a team that we can get points out of each game. So it's another game to turn turn it around and and hopefully get the three points and keep pushing up that table. And how important is it to get those points to to maintain a playoff position in the league table absolutely you see how crazy the league is you know a couple of losses could be down there a couple of wins could be up there so we know how important it is as a team to to keep riding these games out keep working hard which which we always do uh, so credit to the boys and the staff um so yeah we've just got to keep going how much do you enjoy playing alongside paul downing because he was back in the in the team today seems a calming influence yeah absolutely absolutely uh, enjoy my time playing whoever, whoever I'm playing with um, but no PD's been great uh, we've got some good centre backs at the club so um, we're all fighting for our positions so which, which, which is healthy competition it keeps uh, the team going in the right direction it's the same with people all over the pitch as well we've got some great players so everyone's got to perform and um, keep their shirt yeah that competition must be must be vital yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you haven't got people behind you pushing you, then sometimes you can take your foot off the gas or whatever, and then it, it, it does no help to no one really, especially the team. So it's important to have that someone behind you to keep pushing you. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.